Now, I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, y'all didn't watch Law yeah, & Order. Yeah, you're going to have to just give us a little, you know, breathe with these. Cause, yeah. um, First of all, Law & Order been on for a long time. And we okay. don't know everybody in the world. We right. There's a, so many faces that we just don't come across, you feel me? So We don't watch TV that often. Yeah, to be honest like with y'all. Like the average person, we don't. Yeah, not like the average person. We too busy. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's, it's the Doom Shots React, and we're back with another video. video. Who we got today, baby? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. 10 American celebrities you didn't know are from Ghana. Human migration is the movement of people from one location to another with the intention of settling permanently or temporarily in a new location, geographic region. The most common type of human migration worldwide is internal migration. Migration is frequently associated with increased human capital at both the individual and household levels, as well as increased access to migration networks, allowing for a potential second move. With approximately 31 million people, Ghana is the second most populous country in West Africa after Nigeria. Accra is the capital and largest city in Ghana. Other important cities include Kumasi, Tamil, and Sekondi Takarati. Ghanaians are known for their extensive travel and ability to thrive in any situation. It may surprise you, but some of the most well-known foreign superstars we see on our television screens are Ghanaians. A few people can trace their ancestors back to Ghana as well. Many Ghanaians were born outside the country as a result of migration and people leaving Ghana's shores in search of greener pastures. And many of them have gone on to become world celebrities. While it has been difficult for Ghanaians born in Ghana to achieve such fame in Hollywood, being born in America or Europe, or having a father who is a citizen of these places is a trump card that allows an artist to break into the Hollywood market quickly. We have no idea how many international celebrities... This celeb is why it's important to know your people, know your family, mm -hmm. know your, your siblings, know who you're related to. You can have access into a whole continent just because of relation. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Are Ghanians. You may have heard of some of them, but we bet you had no idea the list included the people we're about to show you. In today's oh, video, Africa Reloaded presents to its devoted followers the top 10 American celebrities you probably oh, didn't you know were from Ghana. Yeah, Relax she and take everything in. She looks she 10. Essendo Addo. Bracado is Sophie Addo Essendo is a Guinean American actor who has appeared in films and on television. Essendo attended New Rochelle High School and graduated in 1990. He was born in the city of Shinnecktaddy, New York. He received a BSc in chemical engineering from Cornell University. He's also a playwright, having contributed to the anthology plays and playwrights 2003 with his play Black Thing. He also studied acting at the Acting Studio in New York City. Essendo is also a co-founder of the Defiant Ones, a writing and performing collective. 9. Jay Davidson Jay Davidson is another Ghanaian film actor who is making a name for himself in Hollywood. Jay was born in the city of Riverside, California. Nah, I never heard of Jay, yo. His father is Ghanaian and his mother is English. He rose to prominence sure. after appearing in the controversial film The Crying Shame, in which his indigenous beauty was highlighted. He's also appeared in a number of major motion pictures. I don't know him. <laughs> 8. Frema Adjiameng. Frema Adjiameng is an English actress who has played Martha Jones in Doctor Who and Torchwood, as well as Amanita Kaplan in the Netflix science fiction thriller Since 8. Following her departure from Doctor Who in a role in the BBC series Little Dorrit, Adjiameng starred as Alesha Phillips in the crime procedural drama Law and Order. UK from 2009. Now I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, y'all didn't watch Law yeah, and Order. Yeah, y'all gonna have to just give us a little, you know, breathe with these, cause yeah. um, 
First of all, Law and Order been on for a long time. And we okay. don't know everybody in the world. We right. there's a, so many faces that we just don't come across. You feel me? So we don't watch TV that often. Yeah, to be honest, like with the average person, we don't. Yeah, not like the average person. We too busy. Yeah. <laughs> 2012, on the CW teen drama The Carrie Diaries in 2013. She made her American television debut as Larissa Laughlin, like a style editor at Interview Magazine. Her other television appearances include Old Jack's Boat, Silent Witness, and Survivors. Adjiamin portrayed Penny in the 2015 film North v. South, and she joined the cast of the NBC medical drama New Amsterdam in 2018. 7. Michael Blackson. We know him. <laughs> Most Ghanaians had never heard of him until he hosted the 2018 All Africa Music Awards, Aframa. Michael Blackson's acting and comedic nah. careers, on the other hand. Nah. Michael Blackson been bigger before 2018. Nah. We did not need him on big screen to know who he was before he came out. He was being represented all over social media. I feel like he was out for a long time. I kind of want to hit that Google real quick on y'all because I got right. some fact like, checks I want to pull up. Time. But um, yeah, he been out a long time. Mm. Yeah. Have had a significant impact in Hollywood. Blackson rose through the acting ranks with his most prominent on-screen appearance as Angry African Man in the 2000 comedy film Next Friday, produced by Ice Cube's film production firm Cubavision. His best-selling comedy sketch CD, Matasaka, Mm -hmm. Welcome to America was released in 2005. He appeared on HBO 30 Rock and P. Diddy's Bad Boys of Comedy in 2005, as well as in a commercial for Comedy Central's Chappell Show. In 2007, he co-starred in the film Repos, written and produced by Master P. Okay, so all these names they, they just mentioned that he worked with are... Uh, Big time names, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So yes. if you working with any one of these big artists, you're going to be seen. You see, you feel what I'm, yeah, that's mm -hmm. why we feel like 18, 2018. Yeah, he been out. Nah, next he Friday alone was enough. Okay. Yeah, he was a yeah. He I was be a hit forgetting on that. our age sometimes. I don't even be feeling it. That's why. Cause I be like, we don't feel it. Yeah, I be forgetting our age, but uh, yeah, that was a long time since childhood. Okay. Six. Siribo Nana Kofi. Yes, sir. Another Ghanaian sure. making Ghana proud in Hollywood is Nana Kofi Siribo, a Ghanaian American actor and model. He has played Ralph Angel Bordelin on the Opera Winfrey First Network all, drama Queen Sh When Queen Sugar came out, I had to go look up where he's from. Because yeah. I'm from New Orleans. He had the accent. Down pat. All of them actually did. Yeah, Especially, uh, man, my boy Blue. What's his name? What? What's his name on there? Lord, Lord, Lord. What's Lord. his name on there? Well, his um, name is Omar on here. I think I'm well, saying that right. That's his name. That's um, his name. But smoke or thunder. Or... It was something like a color or like. I a... gotta look it up. I'm sorry, cause it is gonna be bothering me. Yeah, What's his name? he killed the accent. The sister in the top corner, Angel's sister, killed the accent, cause she was out there in the street, so she really had to kill the accent. Man, it was a good uh, series. You guys gotta go check Queen Sugar out. Yeah, I think it's ended now or about to end. Hollywood. 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 Yeah, yes, sir. Hollywood was dope. Yeah. Hollywood was dope. River, since 2016, Siribo was born in the Los Angeles area. Both of his parents are Ghanians. He is the middle child of two performers, Quaim Botang and Kwesi Bokai. As a model, he signed with Wilhelmina Models in New York and Vision in Los Angeles. Siribo made her acting debut as a supporting character in the 2008 comedy huh? drama The Long Shots. He later appeared not, in the Hold on, not, not you catching the typo. Well, I mean, I've seen this since the beginning, but of course this is this sounds like a narrator, like a computer. She said, it sounded like said her. Yeah. I heard her too. Yeah, and you know, she said yeah. a Acra instead of a Cra. And, oh, 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 you know, man, don't point it, out it, too it was much. more than going, that. You want to get the people riled up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holmes Prom, 2011, Whiplash, 2014, and Straight Out Ta Kam Tan, 2015. He appeared on television in episodes of Lincoln Heights and CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. From 2014 to 2015, he appeared in the MTV comedy drama series Awkward. Siribo was cast as a series regular in Ava DuVernay's Opera Winfrey network drama series Queen Sugar oh, in 2016, 
alongside Rutina Wesley and Don Lion Gardner. In 2017, he co-starred in the romantic comedy film Girls Trip with Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Tiffany Haddish. Latifah. Five, Ata Abraham. When the 14-year-old Shaman Lad was cast in Beast of No Nation in 2015, like no one could have predicted that he would soon be on the other side of the make-believe industry. Some have called Abraham's breakthrough heavenly inspiration because he accomplished something that few adult out. actors could do in such a short period of time. Abraham Nayata, a Ghanaian actor, was born in the United States of America on July 2, 2001 for his education and career. At the 72nd Venice International Film Festival, he received the Marcello Mastroeni Award for Best Young Actor for his major role as child soldier Agu in Beast No Nation. He starred in the Marvel picture Spider-Man, Homecoming in 2017. Shane Carew's third film, The Modern Ocean, has added him to the ensemble cast. Yeah, Four, like I I really Boris Kajo. Oh, Boris Boris. Frederick Cecil Tainady Ofuati, better known as Kelby in the 2002 film Brown Sugar, Damon Carter on the Showtime drama series Soul Food, and a recurring... Yeah, they, I might be wrong, but didn't he pull up in the Young and Restless or something at one time, at one point? Oh, babe, I want to say yes. I feel like he did. I want to say yes. Yeah, young and the Restless, or was it... Uh... Bold and beautiful. The bold and the beautiful. Maybe one it was of one of those, like... One of them, I want to say yes. <laughs> that was yeah. a long series, so he had a lot of work put in. Character on Folex, The Last Man on Earth, is an Austrian-born actor of German and Ghanaian descent. Kaja was born in Vienna, Austria, to Ursula, a half-Jewish German psychologist, and Eric Kajo, a Krobo physician from Ghana. Boris Pasternak, a Russian poet and writer, is named after him. Kajo's maternal great-grandmother was Jewish and perished during the Holocaust, while his maternal grandmother hid during the war. Kajo's parents divorced when he was six years old. He traveled to Ghana in December 2018 with a group of 40 black Hollywood stars to see historic sites and reconnect with their roots. Wow, that was big. That's a big move. Three, right Cynthia Ade Robinson. Cynthia Ade Robinson is a Guinean-American actress from the United States. She is best known for her roles as Nevia in the Stars television series Spartacus and Amanda Waller in the CW television series Arrow. Well, that, that, that was VP. Right. That was Kamala. I mean, I know we, we, <laughs> Wait a they, minute. they say we all look alike, but we don't. That wasn't who I thought it was, because I thought that was... I'm looking at I'm like, babe, that is... Did that. she reenact it or something? Because that was definitely Kamala. Oh, the lookalike could have been a reenaction. Whoa, we all thought it was... We did it, Joe. We did it. <laughs> it wasn't her. Man. No. Okay. Bring it back from the top. Robinson is a Guinean-American actress from the Look United States. I mean, she is best known like? for her roles but, as Nevia in the stars. That, 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 that looks just like her. That's, oh, I mean, but like, that's VP. Like, that's VP. Television series Spartacus and Amanda Waller in the CW television series Arrow, both of which are based on DC Comics characters. Since November 2016, she has played Nadine Memphis in the USA Network series Shooter. Ade Robinson was born on January 12, 1985 in London. Her mother is from Ghana, and her father is an American. She immigrated to the United States when she was four years old and was raised in a Washington, D.C. suburb by her mother. Cynthia graduated from Tisch School of the Arts and Montgomery Blair High School in Silver Spring, Maryland, with a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater. She also studied ballet, jazz, and tap dance styles at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute. She received Special Forces training from Navy SEALs and New Zealand Special Air Service members while dope. filming Spartacus, War of the Damned. Two, Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. He's been named Forbes' sexiest man on the planet, an honor most men would kill for. Of course, Idris. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, 
Your time coming, baby. Ain't no time. We I'm here. What there. you mean? We almost what you mean? I'm here. No, I'm just want to let them know that the sexiest man is on your screen right here. I'm just, uh -uh. I'm just saying. Oh no, no, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. I already have to see Listen comments now. like your man is Listen. fine. I know he fine. But they be giving time. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm, hey, I'm just putting a strange, y'all. Y'all good. Chill, Elba chill, chill, is a chill, female chill. movie Agor's heartthrob, and he may easily capture your woman's attention when he appears on the screen. Idrissa okay. Akuna Elba, born September 6, 1972, is an English actor, producer, singer, and DJ. He is best known for his roles on HBO The Wire as heroin trafficker Stringer Bell, DCI John Luther on BBC One's Luther, and Nelson Mandela in the biopic Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom, 2013. He received four Golden Globe nominations for Best Actor, Miniseries or Television Film, winning one and five Primetime Emmy nominations. Elba appeared in the films American Gangster mm -hmm. and Prometheus directed by Ridley Scott, 2012. Elba plays Heimbel in Thor, 2011. Thor. The Dark World, 2013, and Thor, Ragnarok, 2017, as well as Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015, and Avengers, Infinity War, 2017, 2018. He also appeared in Pacific Rim, 2013, Beasts of No Nation, 2015, yeah, 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 man, for hard, which he won BAFTA hard. and Golden Globe Awards for Best Supporting That's Actor. Okay, so yeah, I started watching that one. That's how I, I, I said this last time, y'all. I catch a movie in the middle, and mm -hmm. I never get to finish it. And that's why I remember the last one from the little guy that mm -hmm. the beast in it. Yeah, because they was they got so many great actors that I feel only a few for me that I can really watch, mm -hmm. right? Really, really watch. Like, and he's one of them. He go hard. He be having some Space dope Game, films. 2015, for which he was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actor, 2017. In 2016. He voiced Chief Bogo in Zootopia, Shere Khan in the live-action slash CGI remake of The Jungle Book, Fluke in Finding Dory, and Crawl in Star Trek Beyond. He made his directorial debut in 2018 with a film adaptation of Victor Headley's 1992 novel Yardy. Rumor has it that he is being considered for the role of the next James Bond. Wow. Elba is a yeah, DJ yeah. and R&B musician yeah, yeah. who performs mm -hmm. under the alias DJ Big Driss in addition to acting or Big Driss the Londoner. 1. Peter Minsa Peter Minsa okay. is also a like Ghanaian. He movie. is indeed. In 2018, he was in Ghana for his father's funeral, on. but he avoided the media. Perhaps he didn't want to do media interviews because he wanted to focus on That's why safe. he came to Ghana in the first place. Peter Mensa. No, he looked. He, it made him look like another actor. No, babe. I think I. I, I know that. I well, see I've his seen, face. I feel like That's I've face, watched a military movie with him. I'm trying to. All right. Hopefully they help us out with these movie roles. Yeah, they will. They hopefully will. They help, yeah. like, Is a Ghanaian British actor who has appeared in films like Tears of the Sun, Hidalgo, a military, and Three Hundred. Right there. Right there. As well as television right shows like Spartan. Spartanacus. Oh. Yes, That's Spartan Three Hundred. Yeah, that's what I seen him in. Well, yeah, I saw a military movie. But I seen him in other ones too, so he's not just an eye for me in the him, Spartan movie, but you know. Yeah, it made him look like um, who's that actor? I want to say Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne. It made him look like that actor when uh -huh. it, in that movie. Yeah. The, the, we paused it on the part. That whatever. Okay. <laughs> Blood and Sand, Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, and Spartacus. Vengeance on Stars. He was born in Ghana's Cairo region and comes from an academic family. He was born to Brong Ahafo parents and moved to Hertfordshire, England when he was very young with his father, an engineer, his mother, a writer, and two younger sisters. Most actors around the world aspire to work in the American film industry. As the world's largest film industry, Hollywood has served as a model for other film industries worldwide. These celebrities... Yo, uh, I, I, I had a few takeaways from this, you feel me? Okay. Consistency is key. You want to kill it in, in your industry, in your field. And a lot of them started yeah. off really young. Yeah. Um, and they went to school for it. So mm -hmm. if you want to educate yourself in a field that you want to be great in, 
kind of go to you know you can educate YouTube Academy is, is a good work. <laughs> you saw with YouTube Academy, but um yeah. yeah and just go hard, bro. Keep killing it. Keep showing up. I mean, look at the age that these men and women are in, and they're yeah. still working. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So never stop working. Never stop, bro. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.